This is a very critical area. I love this part of sales training and part of leadership training about different personality styles. Now, there are about 400 slides that go with this, and I'll cut it down to one. Now, we all have our preferred style, and we actually we have more. We, we're, all, we're all of these styles. We're all partly analytical, part amiable, part expressive, and, and part driver. But we'll tend to move towards one of these more than another, and if we're skilled, we'll move through them, depending on the situation. And there are lots of things to look at who is what personality styles. And Maya Briggs have a, a very great 16-section um, analysis of, of who you are. I'm not that smart. I can't remember 16 data points about someone to work out what personality style they are. I can only manage two. And this is what I find works very well, is I make two decisions when I meet people. On a scale of low to high, is this person low in assertion terms or are they high in assertion terms? How do I tell that? Power in their voice, strength of opinion, number of ideas they have, how forcefully they project themselves to me. That's assertion. That's one decision, high or low, boom. Second decision on a vertical scale is, is this person people oriented? or are they outcome oriented? Do they talk about the results or do they talk about the team? So again, as you're talking to people, you'll get an idea of where they're located. So that simple four quadrant or four, four point quadrant between those two decisions, very quick and easy to make that. The trick is not knowing it. The trick is being able to switch gears yourself. Unfortunately, the vast majority, and I'd say this is probably, I don't know, 90%, I'd say maybe 95%, of salespeople always operate in their preferred style. So if they're an expressive, and lots of salespeople are because you need to be assertive, but people oriented, and you're dealing with a CFO or you're dealing with a scientist, uh, this would be great for Andrew, for dealing with chemists, right? If you're dealing with lawyers, you know, they're very analytical people. They're very data, evidence, proof driven. And you're up here, the big picture, strategic, blue ocean, inverted commas, type of discussion, and they want to know who says so besides you. Where is the evidence? Show me the numbers. You've got to get out of being expressive and get into being analytical and talk about evidence. The same way with the driver. If you, I'm a driver type, by the way. All right? I know myself, I'm a driver. What do drivers live by? Time is money. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Don't waste my time, that's the driver. So when you come into my office, you say, Greg, we should do this, here's the three reasons why, I recommend this one. And you get the decision straight out, yes, no, boom, get out of my office. That's a driver. But if you're an amiable, which is the opposite type, Greg, let's have a cup of tea. Let's get to know each other. Let's think about the team and how they're gonna feel about this. Totally opposite approach. So if you're an expressor, for example, and you're with a driver, as a salesperson dealing with a driver, straight to the point, don't waste their time. They're very happy about that. They're very quick decision makers. But if you're dealing with an amiable, it's typical, you know, sort of urban versus rural. You know, you're standing too close to them if they're from the countryside. If you're in a, an urban environment, you don't mind standing so close. Uh, their voice is quite loud in an urban environment compared to a country environment. The speed of speech is different. So it's the same type of thing we see culturally in our normal society. It's the same thing. A driver doesn't mind, fast pace, quick decision, move on. An amiable, that loud, strong voice. It's a bit too threatening, and they're moving too fast. And they're not thinking about the people part. What about the team? The viewpoint is different. So the point for a salesperson or a sales leader is, as you discover what particular preferred style that person is, you need to switch gears. You stay the same personality, you're not becoming a schizophrenic type of person with four different personalities. You have the one personality, but you have four speaking styles. And the ability to do that is a critical skill for salespeople and sales leaders and leaders in general. <laughs>